fasten circuit boards in your housing. Of course, you can do it this way. But I always get upset when I see something like that. If you have a 3D printer, here are two ways how to fasten a circuit board in the housing a real classic way and a super cool new hot shit hipster TikTok method without any screws at all but with the help of these little bodies here. And I will show both to you after the intro. Hey, today it's about the following situation. You have created a beautiful project, something with a nice housing and the microcontroller has to be attached into it. So how can you properly fasten your PCB or your microcontroller into your case? For this exact situation I have created a project in FreeCAD and Fusion 360. You can find the link to the files in the video description below. The classical source is of course screwing. For this you need such spacers which have a hole suitable for the screw. In my CAD files I have created such a spacer which you can adapt to your dimensions really really quick. I'm gonna show you how to adapt these to your needs in FreeCAD and Fusion 360. Alright, download the zip file from the link in the video description and unzip it. Open the FreeCAD file. You can see the body PCB socket in the combo view on the left. We will come to the other body PCB clip in a moment, I have hidden it for now. If you click on the PCB socket once, it should be displayed in the 3D view. The adjustment is really easy. I built the CAD model with parameters, so you only have to adjust three numbers in a spreadsheet. Done. Click once on this PCB socket spreadsheet and it opens in the spreadsheet editor. It's kind of like Excel or numbers. Here all important dimensions for the spacer are stored and can be adjusted. In the column value you enter your dimensions. In screw hole diameter enter the diameter of the screw. For an M3 screw I would enter 3 mm. Wall thickness is the thickness of the cylinder wall and socket height is the height of the spacer. You should adjust this if there are taller components on the bottom side of the board. When you have entered your values, click once again on the body PCB socket and in the 3D view you should already see the adjusted spacer. In the menu click on file and export and save the whole thing as an STL file. Now you can send this file to your 3D printer. Now let's have a look on Fusion 360. Open the Fusion 360 archive file in Fusion. In the project browser's buddies section I will hide the hipster one for now. Open the parameter spreadsheet with this FX button at the top. Here we will find the same three parameters for the screw diameter, the wall thickness of the cylinder and the height of the spacer. Just enter the values as needed. To export an STL for 3D printing, in the menu go to File 3D Print. Make sure to select the body you want to print, in this case the spacer object. You can send it directly to your slicer like Cura or if you want to export to an STL file then uncheck this box Send to 3D Print Utility and click OK. After you have printed four of these spacers, screw them to your board first and finally glue the spacers into your housing. Be patient while the glue dries and your classic board fastening with spacers is ready to go. Uh, screws are sometimes annoying because the right screw is often not available in sufficient quantity. Besides, you have to drive them forever. Especially in the prototype phase you have to remove your board with a microcontroller all the time. So I constructed something to make this easier. I call the whole thing PCB clips. In fact, I did a lot of tests and iterations to get the right design. Here you can see my test side for the different designs. PCB stands for printed circuit board. I use this term as a generic term for all PCBs that can be used in your project. Be it etched circuit boards, breadboards or even circuit boards from the 3D printer like I showed in this video. Warning, this video link might point to my German YouTube channel. My German YouTube channel is currently a little ahead of time compared to the English one. Of course, as soon as the English video is available I will exchange the links accordingly. Thank you. 
the adjustment is just as easy as with the spacers. This time we can interactively see how the part adopts by displaying the 3D view and the spreadsheet at the same time side by side. Click once on PCB socket so that it is selected and press the space bar to hide this 3D object. Select a PCB clip and press the space bar to show this 3D object. Now click once on the PCB clip spreadsheet and close the other PCB socket spreadsheet in the window tab bar. In that bar you should only see the tab spreadsheet PCB clip and this PCB mount. Now in the menu select windows and tile and all open windows are displayed side by side. You need the length of one of the sides of the board. Usually this will be the narrower side. Then you need the thickness of the board. For my boards I always measured 1.6 millimeters, which seems to be the standard for PCBs. If you use, for example, one of my 3D printed boards, these are much thicker of course. The last thing you have to check is if there are any components on the bottom side of the board that are very tall. So we need the minimum distance between the board and the lower side of the clip. In the column value you enter your dimensions. PCB size is the value for the PCB length. PCB thickness is the value for, well, the thickness of the PCB and distance to base is the distance to the bottom of the clip. Technically, 3D printers have some tolerances in their printouts. Besides, there are expansions and it also depends on the used slicer profile how precise the printer will be. That is why I always add 0.4 mm to the PCB size and the PCB thickness. This still clamps quite well, but it's not too tight. You may have to try out what works best for you. Fortunately, the clips are printed quite quickly. Small example, the measured thickness of the PCB is 1.6 mm. I add 0.4 mm, so I insert the final value of 2 mm in that corresponding field. If you want to, you can also adjust the clip thickness to make it more or less sturdier. I have had good experience with 4 mm for PETG. The clip is still flexible enough, but does not break right away. To export again, check that the PCB clip body is selected in the combo view. If not, click it once so that FreeCAD knows what should be exported. Now, in order to export this file, you first need to like this video, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. Shameless, I know. Now to really export this in the menu, use File, Export and Save as an STL. In Fusion 360, use the eye icon in the Bodies section to hide the PCB spacer object and show the PCB clip. Again, use this FX button to open the spreadsheet. Here we have the same parameters as I just explained for FreeCAD to change the dimensions of the PCB clip to your needs. Again, in the menu, use File and 3D print to export to an STL file or send it directly to your slicer. After printing, check if everything fits. If everything looks good, leave the clips clamped to the PCB and glue the clips now as you want it. The main thing is that it holds well, but that is what gluing is all about, I guess. When the glue is dry, you can simply clip the PCB out and back in as needed. So cool. Very important to know, we need two PCB clips to hold a PCB. The second PCB clip must be mirrored. You can do this in the slicer. Every slicer should have a tool to mirror a 3D object on a certain axis. Do not forget before printing the second clip. A word about the filament. Of course, you need a filament that does not break quickly, so PLA is not the right choice. I recommend PETG or nylon. They are quite flexible, do not break quickly and are not so demanding when printing. ABS would probably also work, but it's more like the yeasto among filaments. Must not get too cold, no drafts, so it's best to print only in a closed housing, otherwise it warps. And besides, it stinks quite unhealthy when heated. It gives me a headache, so I don't use ABS anymore. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope one or the other tries out the clips. Write in the comments if they work or if you have problems. If you like the idea of the clips, click the thumbs up. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and activate the alarm to make me happy. Keep tinkering, stay healthy. I have to go shovel snow now. Bye.
Oh shit. Oh, we need to build a tool for that. Something with lasers. <laughs>